Cool. Nice sleds. Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the studio. Uh, we're gonna go out for an RC adventure in a few moments here just to rip this around because we've got some great snow out on the track today and it's a great opportunity to go outside and enjoy some RC. But uh, I know that you guys will notice some changes to the sled because I've had this in three videos before, gave it a good run, I'm happy with the kit. There's some areas that I have strengthened uh, with some just simple JB weld uh, just to add an extra layer of protection. I did crack this arm before but it has been replaced and beefed up with a weld on either side uh, which is JB weld is just a plastic weld you can basically weld anything with it it's a cold weld just a two-part mixture uh, and it hardens up so I've done that here on a steering post on the inside and around the uh, hangers for the arms you might see a little bit but Look at on the front uh, right there. You wouldn't even have noticed unless I pointed it out. <laughs> but I noticed that's where I had replaced stuff already. So I thought might as well uh, beat it because I know I'm going to be jumping pretty soon again. Uh, the other thing that I looked at was I was running a huge eight scale T8 brushless from Tekken. This is a 1700 KV. And if we had gone any larger in eight scale, the can size actually gets really big. <clears throat> This thing is a torque monster, this motor, but what this thing needs, I noticed, because of the type of uh, belt that it has and the type of bite that those lugs have, you need wheel speed. So I've decided to switch up the motor. I went to a brushless Tekken Pro 4 HD. Uh, you know I've been working with Tekken for a long time, guys, but I can say that this 10th scale motor is a 3400 kV, and being an HD motor, this is really geared for 10th scale short course trucks. Really fast, it can take up to a 4S LiPo and, and is supposed to be paired with the RX-8 ESC that I have in there already. So I did slap a 4S in there and this thing woke up. I haven't taken it outside to test it yet. I figured I'd just kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at for um, belt speed on this now. Now maybe I'll run into a heat issue. Maybe not, we'll find out. <sighs> you might want to put on your safety glasses for this. <laughs> so even a little bit, I'm barely touching. It's not designed to go that fast. <laughs> Let's go outside. <laughs> Perfect. All plugged in and ready to go. Let's just see if I can get an idea on how quick this is going to be. I'll try to build up to it a bit here. Nice, just a little on the throttle. Half throttle. <laughs> it's quick, it moves so fast. In three, two, one. Half throttle. <laughs> yeah, that certainly woke up, man. Four cell for sure, and the motor change. Good choice. I wonder how hot the motor's getting. It is, oh, nice. Deep, deep, deep snow. Wheel speed is my friend, and out of it, nice. Woo, let's hit the deep snow. 